you already know I've been loving my anime starting off with a history lesson? In terms of environmental destruction, this is some next level stuff. Randy Orlando from the Trails game series, one of my favourite side characters. Firstly, such a badass introduction, showing how he's much larger than life at the start, looks so cool. Secondly, Endeavor from My Hero Academia, and most recently, funny enough, one of the main cooks in part 4 of my One Piece series. I know I already win the voice actor, but take one for the performance itself. I thought the guy who did the dub was excellent, but this guy fits the character even better. running on the spot, but I always remember from doing the Sins version years and years ago just how high impact and awesome the start of the episode is. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen some great throwing and being thrown animations in my time, but this immediately broke the top five and did it with ease. <laughs> right away, getting our first understanding of what exactly the deal is with these uniforms. <laughs> Art style change that looks great! Man, I feel so silly! Years ago I'm like, yay, let's find some sins! Now I'm watching this in awe of the animation I took for granted back then. Like, this is outrageously good animation! Two Max wins! I won't lie, she gets a ding, but later on when everyone suits up, everyone be getting another ding. So for now, ding. I forgot just how good the music was in this one. This gets major style points for the giant bold lettering, but also that sick backward sweeping shot. Also the big old credit for getting us a great understanding right off the bat of where we are in the world, what the deal is and what's going on. Also, also though, she can go right on ahead and take her first ding wing. Let's go! Callum from Kogias! I'm just gonna say, she built different, you feel me? The explanation of the local area is informative without coming across like exposition. They also bundle it with a bunch of helpful views of the area at the same time. How quickly she takes them all out. The introduction of her, one of the funniest side characters in the entire thing. She's awesome. Credit as well for the series of background shots. It's shockingly always so filled with detail each time. It's insane, really. Not running on the spot too, but also the hilarious end <laughs> of I got on, I got on. Basically just about everything Mako does during this scene. The next scene that actually starts to fill in the blanks about what the school uniform business is all about. <laughs> It'd be morally wrong not to give a win for anyone who pulls out their uniform like that! Love it in an anime when a studio makes the win just do win type things and not kick in only during special moments. Giving this a win because it, for me, shows the first time how the anime means to go on in terms of wild, explosive and furious battles nearly all the time. <laughs> Talking of starting as you mean to go on, seriously unique character designs, armors and weapons, such as these gloves and the belt and everything else, is an easy starting win too. <laughs> Run! 
My god, I suppose the same can even be said with the attacks! The sheer volume of frames in these attacks! It really says quite a lot about her that she came back to drop this off. Viral from Gurren Lagan. A mixed city and landscape scenery shot. Michael Jackson from Demon Slayer. I think it goes without saying, there are certain scenes I'm not going to be able to show, but take one here for her being hilarious whilst held upside down and not understanding oil will cook her. So much animation in the scene, but the rotating shot is beautifully done at the same time, no less. I'm in genuine shock and awe at how many times they panned through a shot or rotated it and kept the animation within it so smooth, it's crazy good! Probably the best place to safely do the secondary ding for that! Ding! I love this song, probably the best one in the entire anime. Even all these years later, it's still on my phone. This first great looking attack from her whilst using the new suit. I don't know about you, but I always liked how during her big battle, she was able to overcome all of the guards and get to her in some small way, which was pretty cool for episode one. The start of their very unique relationship in the series, but also gaining an understanding of how the suit works. A wonderful OP that legit made me smile. Like, the song was just gorgeously sung and performed. I loved that. And then kudos to the studio giving nothing of the story away in the visuals. Rare that. Max wins. They don't just do another great looking shot of the city, they actually animate within that shot. The voice acting is shockingly well done by her, some of the best I've ever heard, I think, and of course, the strange and wonderful introduction to Mako's weird family. Do you see what I'm saying about her family? I'm not lying, am I? Shuto from Hunter Hunter! A really good example of unique as all hell looking armors in this one. She points out a decent win here. The poor areas are designed entirely differently to the rich areas, really making the difference felt in moments like these. Her powering through the statement is very indicative of her character. For the first time when we get to see that the anime isn't all about armor and the usual weapons we've been seeing. This nicely then also comes into play later on. That face she makes due to hating needles. <laughs> that tickled me for some reason. I forgot this guy's deal that he randomly just likes to take off his shirt every chance he gets. Trigger deserves so much praise for using basically no CGI during this anime that I can recall anyway. This and Cyberpunk Edge Runners, they really outdid themselves. One more time for the simply outstanding looking art styles on display. It's so varied and just filled with style juice. Here 
Even a simple transformation like that is amazing. Like if you paused it and played it, there'd be an unreal amount of frames that made it up. <laughs> A beautiful example of the kind of wacky scenes that make up large parts of Mako's personality. Personally, I absolutely love them. It's so stupidly well done, it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Let's have a win for the tennis match as a whole. Honestly, I'd love to show more, but there's so, so much Ichi on display. It's everywhere. I can't get away with it. Come on! I can steal it. I always thought that this spoke to her character that in spite of being her enemy, she allowed her to use her own weapon as a tennis racket, which ultimately wins her the match. Kill the Kill is the owner of some of the best looking fight finishing moves in the industry to my mind. Once again, she does this when she really didn't have to. She could have fallen back on her underlings any number of times, but took decisions that benefited her instead a few times. Easy plot twist win because in these kinds of anime, typically the main antagonist doesn't get involved in the second episode, to this degree anyway, which does make the story unique. Very simply, a lovely song yet again. Wonderful singing and some nice non-combat visuals that remind me of a similar style to that of Mob Psycho 100. <laughs> Always appreciate a little bit of backstory in my anime, helping to flesh out the characters nicely. <laughs> this is just perfect. Especially the kind and gentle sitting her down. I love this anime. <laughs> Half the win is for learning even more about the clothing side of the anime and how it works, and the other half is hilariously his clothing just slipping off yet again. Every time near enough. I always liked getting this view from his background and how he became directly involved, but most of all, I liked how they do the flashbacks rather than just making it black and white or whatever. <laughs> The official soundtrack is seriously chock full of great songs that really fit the vibe and feel of the show as it progresses. This is one such example of many, fitting the tone of the underground experiment. Taking the time to show us that making these things is no easy task, and how they're currently failing to even make one with fibres up to 50%, and our main character is wearing one which is 100%. A scene which looks incredible and like it was ripped straight out of the manga pages. Also though, very much the scene where she begins to try it on. Animating multiple characters moving within one scene together like it's no big deal whatsoever. How come Mako is just the best though? I could barely ask for a better example for this win. How often they do super grandiose things in this anime? This kind of style of animation really reminds me of the earlier seasons of Love is War who did a great job of it too. Just another great looking transformation sequence, but with its own unique style to our main characters. And this is where she gets her well deserved secondary ding for digging up the place in style, but I'm obviously showing this dude instead. <laughs> Exactly what I went earlier on, how they're able to do a full on rotating shot and yet animating them, walking in the middle of it and have it be smooth in spite of their body's angles changing. 
Let's add one here for the furious sequence of attacks that came before it. It really is a stylish looking anime too. Everyone pulling Jojo looking poses and all that jazz. Feels a little silly giving Max wins to her talking to the clothing and then for environmental damage of the highest degree, but I can't show their battle in the school, and yeah, it's for that. Is it weird that these are some of my favourite moments in the anime when she goes off on one like this? An intriguing piece of lore that basically allowed for the mangaka to make sense as to why the dresses have to be so... Well, you already know. <laughs> The voice acting from them both working together there, and of course, just how plain awesome that looked to boot. <laughs> that attack animation and of course the symbolism on display, whereby it's the first time during a battle she's had to take one of her famous steps, except this time backwards in retreat. Rotating shot just prior to this, but this win is mainly for how well done the designs on them are, even at a distance here. <laughs> These girls are incredible, the voice actresses too, they really do belt out their performances to an extremely high degree of awesomeness. They can have max wins for that, for the battle as a whole. <laughs> The threat from her that nicely leads us into the first major arc of the storyline, that being her fighting her way through all of the strongest people. It's so very itchy, even some of the mother's cleaning movements have extra movements if you feel me. <laughs> I forgot to panic, it's such a good line. Ah, I'm just in genuine shock that Trigger, at no point in time, were like, let's make our lives easier with stuff like these crowds and do hand animation at the front, CGI at the rear. Not once! <laughs> these comedy moments are the best. Like, how surprised he is. Suddenly she's climbed up there and is talking to him. Another thing I totally forgot about Kill the Kill is how great and unique the comedy is. There's really nothing quite like it, to be honest. See what I'm saying? Who even thinks of this? It's not a trend or a theme in the anime, it's just there and gone. Have a win for literally me just being able to show all of these moments due to her PJs covering enough surface area. I think I just remembered what ends up happening here, but take one for now for the pretending to be her acting and her casually trying to leave midway through. Oh man, this anime! The father is literally driving up the sides of houses with no issue! I can't believe how often they choose to use animation, especially with the style of the anime. They so easily could have gotten away without doing it! Using the same joke as the lad with his father a few minutes ago, except now with the doggo. Can't believe I didn't hear it until just now, but I'm in from Attack on Titan! This anime absolutely has to be one of the most insane I've ever seen that does hold some semblance of normality during the course of its story. It's seriously up there. RPG! 
Oh, you already know two little old ladies firing an RPG at them would get a win. Yeah, go on then. Would be kind of stupid not to give that a win. Absolutely glorious stuff. Slow motion, loads of screaming, and a nice piece of classical music to accompany it. <laughs> this is great because I 100% totally and completely forgot that this happened. So take a big old plot twist win. I thought all the students asked her for help pretending to be her. No idea why. She really is such a badass! <laughs> this might just be legit. <laughs> My favourite ever backer of all time. Such big props for the change in the style there. It's like done on a notepad all of a sudden. <laughs> the best joke of the entire thing so far. I totally forgot about that too. <laughs> For the third time, kinda, because he just deserves it, it's very rare that I find a voice actor that fits a character this well. Like, it's scary good. He was born for this role. <laughs> Take one last win for the end of that episode, absolutely brilliant, and they ended up making it on time. I remember this dude, such a cool guy! The Avolo from Jojo's Golden Wind! Yet another crazy different type of weapon one of these people is able to use, it's insane! <laughs> Thankfully, due to the fact that no one is stripping off or anything else, I'm able to show his attack in full and talk about how great and smooth the animation was during it without issue. Trigger could so easily have skimmed over these bits with a simple montage and barely anyone would have cared, and yet instead we got fairly in-detail battle scenes instead. <laughs> Mako once more hilariously failing to see how final a lot of these things that happened to her would end up being, just like with the cooking oil from earlier. Probably one of the only times a main character has been so full of worry for a friend, only to find out he did her a solid, and so she genuinely thanks him for it. Not running on the needle firing spot! You gotta admit, even in an anime as lighthearted as this one, he makes a serious entrance and impression on the viewer, and that sticks through the whole anime if I recall correctly. The whole introduction of those who stand against the uniforms and the current power structure, and gaining a decent understanding about who they are and what they're all about. I love them for even in simple scenes such as this, including so very much animation throughout it. Another insanely good tune in the background being all casual as though it's not a big deal. For the first time, seeing what her speaking to the uniform is like for everyone else, and it's actually pretty weird. I 
I have no clue how labor intensive even such a short scene like this would be, but I know it's probably a lot. I mean, come on, between that heavy sounding effect and that full on rotating shot, easiest win of the episode. Shut up and take my max wins. Every chance they get to not have to animate so heavily, they do the opposite, and I'm so damn impressed with it. Exactly one of the reasons I said earlier about this anime being chock full of weird randomness, but also extremely furious looking battles, and it only gets better. Not sure I've ever done this before, but here goes. Literally the same win as the last one. Internal said design is real good in this one. Look at these urinals with the spikes. <laughs> in what is usually a very light-hearted and funny anime, it goes very serious here. So two wins. Firstly, it's for the confusion of what just happened here, but she knows the truth as she hits him. Secondly, it's for her attacking him even though she knows it won't do much. She really went to bat for her friend. <laughs> She found the time for not only a quick snack, but also to use the loot in the men's. See, it's very serious and sweet all of a sudden. Hasn't done that before. Just shows the mangaka could do some serious writing in this one. <laughs> this awesome moment, I forgot how good it was too! <laughs> this has to be in my top 10 of all time for the most unique battles, similar to Gurren Lagann really. <laughs> so many sweet and wholesome moments in episode 5! He's really trying hard to get in the nip again. Nudist. Ah, that. This is the kind of thing I meant way back at the start when I mentioned their armor being so unique from person to person. Each one has so many individual traits to them. A pretty non-exposition way of telling us that unlike our main character, she's struggling with using the clothing. Probably one of the best flashbacks to actually fill in lore about the wider world this early on. This anime might legit have as many art style changes as Mob Psycho 100, which has reigned supreme for years. At the same time, it's filled with total badass moments like these. Oh, I do love it. It is amazing. <laughs> It is such a good song, take my win for that firstly. But also Pakanoda from Hunter x Hunter. I forgot that even these powerful students have their own entirely unique transformations. I thought it was just the god robes. <laughs> Needless to say, the start of the battle gets a natural win, and also needless to say, I sadly can't get away with showing much of it. 
It's awesome how everyone wasn't made a pushover in front of her. In fact, to the contrary, she has lost numerous times since arriving at the school, which serves to make battles more nerve-wracking. That's great too, it shows she and her suit can adapt to the situation, shows how she is growing stronger in general and for later on has access to additional moves and attacks. She's evolving! Not even sure why, but this is honestly some of the best looking weather effects I've ever seen in anime. Never even noticed this before, but there's even little particles floating about in the air. Take one here as well for speeding up the process of her changing. It'd get real boring real quick if it took like 30 seconds every time, but this one was like 4 seconds maybe? Iori, the anime diving into his darker side with this right here, and I do believe other similar things start to happen later on as the anime becomes less happy go insane lucky. Total JoJo type situation where I haven't a single clue how she's going to be able to get out of this. series of attacks and then go into a feet person view. <laughs> Speaking of Jojo, this is some excellent voice acting from them both, especially him though with such a quick statement of attacks. <laughs> See what I mean? The anime is far better for the story allowing her to lose rather than constantly beat everyone. They don't even use CGI for something as simple as this. I love them. There's another stupidly good art style change, but quite a symbolic ending too. In the pursuit of power, he's lost the joy of even the small things in life. Darth Weirdo, Matthew Blancet, Mao Liao, The Element Taylor Wars, Christopher Willis, Draki, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masher, Marquez, Orkeeper, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Birds Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayot, Cameron, Christopher Tawasa, Commander Cyrus, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, I Am Here, Your Edvinson, Kevin Alston, Kampfreik, Carly Welp, Lisa Marie Tim, Luis Minito, Magnus, Nathan Burr, Nightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Sataka Yari, Zionx 44, Sean, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, Subito, Wicked Fay, Ali 50, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Devon, Iso, Garrett Vermish, Gibbs, Isel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jafford 6263, Calnock, Kevin Nelta, Kevink 102, Knuckle Duster, Chris Madden, KY158, Carl Jones, Laxor, Maxus, Liam Gogarty, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Malcarius, Michael Lewis, Modivorum, Mudini, Mr. Firecool, Natsu Dragneal, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, 1928, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Q Flash, Ryan Devirus, Sentimento, Storm 970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Tricky Nicky, Willyman.